Hello, it's Elkie Shaver. Um, Patrick, it's Saturday, January 23rd. Um, I just, uh, I didn't do a video last week and, or last Saturday or Sunday. <clears throat> I had COVID um, and my last day to isolate or whatever you want to call it was the 18th. So I went back to work Tuesday this week. Um, feeling pretty good, a little tired. Uh, other than that, <clears throat> doing all right. Me and my son both had it at the same time. Um, and luckily uh, my wife, his mother took care of us. Um, wouldn't let us out of our rooms. Brought us whatever we needed and cooked for us and threatened us if we went out and all this sort of thing. But anyways, we we're both over. He went back to work. His first day to work was last night. <clears throat> um, and I worked all week. Um, anyways, that being said, we're, we're doing all right. Um, but today, um, I'm going to use a, a soap and it's probably a more of a spring scent. I would say, I don't care about that so much. I use kind of what I want when I want, but it's, uh, Wickham Soap Company, uh, Nymphaeo de Agera, Ageria. Um, this is named after a a grotto in uh, outside of Rome, <clears throat> and it's, there's a little garden there, I think, and I think maybe that's what evokes the or this uh, the scent is supposed to evoke that that's that scent uh, of the garden. But um, anyway, there's a little grotto, and they say that I guess in uh, Roman mythology that's where the the nymphs played around at or had their parties or whatever they had. Anyways. But that's the, the soap we're using today. It is uh, uh, vegan based. Um, and then I, <clears throat> uh, Dan Varga sent me this soap. Um, I bought a soap and attaché from him, and when I opened it, it had this one and another one in it. But um, and I don't know if he just didn't like it, or he's not a bomb guy at all. So maybe that's why. <clears throat> but I got the I sent off and got the the matching bomb for it. Um, the brush is a, uh, Lancaster Razor Works brush, synthetic knot. Um, this was also a gift. Uh, and the razor we'll be using today, I've used it, I think, once before on video, but it's a, uh, 1921 Big Boy, uh, Gillette Big Boy, um, they're improved, I think is what this one is called. Uh, and this was also a gift that just showed up at my house one day. And in that, we've got a Wilkinson sword, uh, first use on it. But uh, here's the box from the uh, the big boy and all that sort of stuff. Anyways, <clears throat> a pretty nice present if you ask me. Uh, Anyways, I'll uh, get started on this. I hope everybody out there is doing good. Had a good week. Productive or not, I guess. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and probably face lather, I guess, since I don't have lather made up. I really like the scent on this soap. Um... It's kind of funny or strange how scents will hit you sometimes. You know, you think that you're not a uh, a floral guy or maybe a you really like the musk scent or something like that. And then something completely out of your wheelhouse just hits you right. I try not to have a wheelhouse so much, maybe. I do have just a day's growth. I, I shave in the mornings for work. Usually a little before six or right at six. I live about three and a half miles from where I work, so I don't have to get up just insanely early, just about 5.30 or so.
And with the COVID, I do have problems with my scent or my smell and my taste right now. I'm, I'm getting it back gradually. I, I can't really smell this all that much. I get it every now and again. I mean, to be honest, it makes it hard to uh, want to shave because the scent is a, uh, no matter what I'm using, <clears throat> is a, a big deal to me. That's part of the reason I do this hobby. And I, I would assume anyone is that way, although I can't speak for everyone. This is the only Wickham I've tried, Wickham soap that I've tried. Um, there are a couple I would like to try. I just haven't got around to it. And when I get to looking in the cabinets and in the shaved in I've got, I have to ask myself, do I really need anything? I did buy, other than the balm that goes with this soap, I bought a, a, uh, <clears throat> a uh, set of, <coughs> soap and aftershave from uh, Sterling uh, a little after Christmas and uh, it's called Allegheny and it's a uh, a dupe homage however you want to say it of, of Fahrenheit which was one of the few expensive clones that I bought. I think I was in my early 20s probably when I bought it. But, like I, I got it the day that I got sick with COVID. And I was, I was fairly sick for a few days. But I never really got a good smell of it, so to speak. Like I said, it's one of my favorite scents ever, so... I'm trying to hold out. I did use the aftershave the other day, but I couldn't smell it. It's aggravating. But I'm trying to hold out until I can actually smell something <coughs> before I use it. <coughs> All right, there's pass one. I looked up the scent notes on this one and I've already forgotten, so. I think it's out of production, discontinued or retired or however you want to put it.
<clears throat> if you're uh, if you watch this video and uh, you have a favorite of Wickham soap, leave it in the comments. Tell me your impressions of it and what what you like about it, or maybe you didn't like it. And let me know that also, please. I've got a friend that I got into wet shaving her. He blames me anyways. Uh, we used to work together. <coughs> and he, uh, he lives across the river from me over here. He shaves with either hand. You know, he'll shave with his right hand on his left side and then he'll switch to the left hand and use it on the right side. I think that's a, like you would a straight razor. I don't know if anyone else feels it, but I feel like my shave may suffer a little bit because I can't do that. It's not horrible or anything, but the angle's not quite right on my right side, so to speak. Or maybe that's all in my head. I don't know. All right. Three. <clears throat> the guy who gave me the soap, Dan Varga, he also has a uh, a business called Razor Refresh. I've seen some of the work he's been doing, and it's really, really nice. I've got a few things I got to send them. I think I said that on the last video and I just haven't got around to it. <coughs> but uh, his that's his Facebook page, Razor Refresh. If you got something that needs done, or maybe even something that needs worked on, I think maybe he even, you know, when he takes the razors apart, he, he fixes at them too, I'm pretty sure. Okay, pass three.
Okay. <clears throat> Pretty good shave all the way together, I think. Bear with me just a minute. I'll warm this up a bit. Get dried off and apply a little balm. <clears throat> it's my first use on the balm, so hopefully it goes okay. Good night. It's probably way too much. Pretty soothing. And what little bit I can smell, it does smell good. But like I said, more probably a spring type scent for most folks. If that stuff matters to you. All right. A bit sticky. Okay. <clears throat> we'll recap, I guess. And today we use the uh, the big fella. It's a big razor. I'll compare it to a single ring here. Um, quite a bit of difference in them. Anyways, all right. The uh, brush was a Lancaster Razor Works, off a pretty brush, synthetic, not. Uh, Wickham's Mufeo de Algeria uh, balm and uh, soap. <clears throat> Anyways, I will get off here and see what the day brings from here on out. Uh, I do appreciate y'all watching and, and sharing your time with me. Um, thank you much and be careful out there and we'll see you next time.